Hey everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 375 and welcome back to episode number two of our Pokemon Fire Red Scrambled Egg Lock. If you guys do not know what a scrambled egg lock is, go ahead and check out the first video. I don't know which direction it is, but you look to your left or look to your right, it's in one of those directions and uh, go watch it because I explain the rules there. I explain them poorly, but I explain them nonetheless and it will uh, get you caught up on why the heck we're st sitting outside this Pokemon Center. Speaking of, I very much apologize, guys, for cutting that last episode so short. I did not have the eggs loaded onto the game yet, unfortunately, and uh, I was running out of time. I needed to upload it for today, but I am pleased to announce that the eggs are now officially loaded onto the game. Let's take a look just to make sure I'm not crazy. Here they are. Okay, so I've got a couple things I need to talk about real fast. The first things first. Uh, let's talk about the eggs first. As you can see, they do not have nicknames. I, th I thought this was going to be the case. The nicknames did not maintain themselves. So if we end up picking your egg, by the way, we have about a box and a half, which is pretty dope. Um, if we end up picking your egg, I unfortunately lost the nickname, so I apologize. If you want to leave a comment down below letting me know that it is in fact your egg, and maybe you had a different nickname in mind, I can probably go in and change the name, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. So. Um, I may just have to nickname them myself. The second issue, as you can see, held items do not exist, unfortunately. Um, what that means is, in some cases, it's not such a big deal. So, for example, if you sent me a Growlithe and you wanted me to have an Arcanine, you would give it a Firestone. That's not a huge... So, there's no Firestone, obviously. So, this egg right here is a Growlithe. Uh, no Firestone. That's okay. The reason that's not so bad is because as soon as we get to sell it on city we can buy stones so that's not a big deal it's a bigger deal for a pokemon like scyther if you sent me a scyther and you really wanted to be a to be a scissor you need to give it the metal coat but unfortunately if this is a scyther the metal coat's not there anymore um and i don't know what to do about that uh there are two options in mind one is we have randomized the items in the wild. So there's a chance that if this is a Scyther and it needs a metal coat to evolve, I can just find a metal coat. That would be pretty exciting. Um, so there's a possibility there. Uh, a second possibility that uh, we can do is I do have a save, AKA I can alter all of these. So once I hatch a Pokemon, if it's a Scyther and it needs a metal coat, uh, I could go ahead and just give it a metal coat. That I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. For now, I'm gonna go with option A, the first option, uh, because I feel like it's more fair. I'm gonna hope that I can find them in the wild. I don't know, I'm, I'm of two minds about it, because like, if you're gonna send me in anyway, if like, if you sent me a clam pearl really wanting a Huntail, but now I can't find a deep sea tooth, I don't wanna just use a clam pearl the entire time if you wanted to see a Huntail. Um, so I'll leave it up to you guys, especially if it's your Pokemon. Like if I hatch your Clam Pearl and you really want it to be whatever, please let me know um, because that's the last thing I want to do is like maybe we find a deep sea scale instead of a deep sea tooth and then I get a Gorbis and you're like, I wanted Huntail. Excuse me, my license expires in seven days. How about you get off me right now? Um, anyway, uh, so those are the two issues. I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Another issue I need to talk about. Um... This is actually my second attempt recording this. Am I recording? Yes. When I recorded it the first time, I picked an egg, hatched it, was so happy. It was such a good starter. And then I looked down and realized I was not recording and had to start over. I debated. I was like, do I just keep this Pokemon hatched? I'll even, I'm not going to open it right now, but it's this Pokemon right here. I hatched this Pokemon. So I now know what this Pokemon is, which means I should probably mix them up again. But... It's only one Pokemon. I don't know if I should just take this Pokemon as my starter since I technically rolled it the first time and randomly chose it, or I didn't know if you guys would be like, ah, we didn't see it, so it might be cheating. I don't know. I wanted to leave it open, so instead we are going to pick a new starter. It was... I hope we get this Pokemon at some point in the Let's Play because it was so good. I, we may just re-roll it again, uh, which leads me to this. Let me go ahead and show you guys how we're going to be getting these starters. I have a, an app on my phone that is a dice roller. Look at that, it's even got a nice little sound effect. Uh, the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna roll the dice twice, or the die. The first roll is going to correlate to the column that we're gonna choose from, one through six. The second roll is going to correlate to the row that we choose from, one through five. So obviously the first time I did this, I got six and then five, and I got this 
beautiful Pokemon, whoever sent it in. Thank you so much. Excuse me? Wait. Oh, I thought it could do it by like shaking. It does not work like that. Or does it? It works when I rotate. All right, that's weird. Anyway, um, but we're just gonna re-roll again just to make it completely fair, just to make it completely open. That way you guys can be here for the process of the rolling. I feel like it will be more enjoyable overall, but oh my gosh, it was such a good Pokemon. Anyway, though, we're going to roll this again. Uh, this is a big deal, guys, because this is going to be our starter. This is essentially one of the most important Pokemon we will have in this game. It's going to be replacing our Bulbasaur. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and roll it a few times just so you know I'm not trying to get that six. We're going to roll it one time. Please, six. It is a five, the fifth column, and we're going to roll it a second time. It is a three, one, two, three. Instead of the bottom right, we're going to go with this egg this time instead. Oh, I may or may not have the um, the fast hatch on. We're going to find out very quickly whether or not I have the fast hatch on. Uh, let's see. Mm, it's not looking like it's hatching yet. The other one took a little bit of time too. So let me run around very quickly. And if it doesn't hatch pretty shortly, it does hatch pretty shortly. That's about as much time as the last one took. Okay, guys. This is a momentous occasion. This is what the egg lock is all about. It's about hatching Pokemon that you guys have sent in and getting the chance to use them. Huh? Our starter Pokemon in our Pokemon Fire Red scrambled egg lock is a Lapras. It's beautiful. Oh. Depending on what this thing knows, I may like it even more than the first starter, but the first starter was pretty good. Would I like to give a nickname to the freshly hatched Lapras? It is a female. Give me, um, let me look up real fast. It's going to turn off the music and I apologize. Please don't snap the music. Greek mythology siren names. I want to know the names of one of the sirens because, okay, I know that they're called sirens, but do any of them have fancy names? Are there any like special ones that uh, mythology muses? Oh, mu yeah. What the, do the muses have any sort of name? Mm, Hera, H-E-R-A. No, that's the queen of the gods. The muses won a competition. Uh, I'm reading Wikipedia, by the way. Their anguish writes Stephanus of Byzantium. The sirens turned white and fell into the sea. Aptera, featherless, where they formed the islands that were called Likui, the white ones, modern Suda. Okay. Interesting, sort of interesting. Um, I'm gonna go with Hera, H-E-R-A. It's it's sort of related to the to the sirens, I guess. And it's I don't I don't know why. I always like the I always feel like Lapras is very connected to the siren song of the sea. So we're gonna call this thing Hera, and that is going to be our starter. Let us quickly look at this beautiful creature. It is level five. Of course, everything will hatch at level five. Uh, we're going to get to uh, rare candy up to level six. This thing has a modest nature. Meta is a fateful encounter. It has water absorb and it starts with water gun, sing and horn drill. Um, thank you to whoever sent this in again. Feel free, by the way, if you guys are in the comments, feel free to at any time just shout out and be like, hey, I sent that. That is my Lapras. You now have it. Um, that is a good starter. I, I'm not gonna lie, it's not, the first one we got was like, it was also a water type, I will tell you this. I could just tell you what the Pokemon is, but I won't because just in case we end up uh, rolling that later, I kinda wanna leave the possibility there. <gasps> oh gosh, that was a hiccup and a half. I kinda wanna leave the possibility there of, um, of grabbing it in the future. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. We do have two boxes. So each time we get an encounter, I'm just going to jump from box to box to box to box to box to box. So next time we'll do a box two, then we'll do a box one. It's not perfectly fair because technically the eggs in box two have a higher proportion chance of getting picked. I took a statistics class. I know what I'm talking about, but uh, it's going to be fine. We'll get over it. We'll, we'll survive. Don't worry. Um, let's pick up Oak's Parcel and let's continue on our journey. Dude, I can't, I, I don't edit this till after, but I imagine the Lapras looks beautiful on the screen. I'm sure I did a fantastic job choosing an image and uh, I'm, I'm being facetious. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. 
You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Oh, Oak's parcel has... Blah, 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 blah. Now, remember, boys and girls, the the Martyr Lock, the Scrambled Egg Lock, has not officially started yet, the Nuzlocke portion. If we were to lose our Lapras right now, it wouldn't really matter. I mean, I'd be upset, but it doesn't really matter. In fact, I'm going to take this opportunity of it not mattering to actually try and maybe um, get a level... If we could, man, this thing does not gain a whole lot of experience, so leveling this thing is not going to be a great time. Um, but I kind of want to just get a level really fast, maybe two, um, just to put us in a decent position. Because remember, this the Martyr Lock, the element of this Scrambled Egg Lock, is all about... Um, what do you want to call it? It is all about strategizing. And it's all about putting yourself in the best position possible to win. So you know what? Uh, I think seven is good enough. So uh, let's go heal really quickly and let's go deliver Oak's parcel. Dude, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, we're also going to get at least... Let me think. We'll probably get three encounters today. Unless I'm gravely mistaken, I think we're gonna get three encounters today. Oh my gosh, you wanna, you're gonna get water gunned. I think we're gonna get three encounters today, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, let's quickly, uh, I used another water gun there, so I, I am gonna use my mom to, to heal us up real fast just to make sure we are at full. And uh, I believe we're about to go pick up our, what are those things called? I believe we're about to go pick up our, um, Pokeballs. So I think the journey is about to begin, my friends, and I hope you are excited. As excited as I am, I'm literally giddy with excitement. Oh, Gilmore, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more and more attached to you. <gasps> you replaced it with a beautiful Lapras. I'm so sorry. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me. Here's Oak's parcel. Mmm. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Got... Oh, no. Long live Tony! Oh no! Okay, I just remembered something. <laughs> so if you guys remember from the first episode, instead of clicking continue, I clicked new game. And what I tried to do, it, obviously in the first one we nicknamed our rival Tony. Tony's in the mob. That was, he was our first rival, he was our rival in episode one. I tried to, after I finished that episode, I tried to put the eggs in and go in and uh, use that save file, it only put the eggs in on the original save file that I had, the one that I had to click continue on. And in that case, this was like literally two weeks ago. Uh, this is all flooding back to my brain. I didn't know what to name my rival, so I named him the first name that popped into my head, which for some reason was Gunther. <laughs> so uh, rest in peace, Tony. Tony, you survived one episode. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I can do to change this. I think he's Gunther now. Maybe he's going through like an identity crisis. So, you know, some days he wants to be called Tony. Now he wants to be called, he's Gunther. I wouldn't like a nice, a nice uh, Southern Alabama. Some, no, maybe like a Savannah, Georgia, Gunther. Gramps. I cannot do Southern X. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? I can't do it. Why do I sound like Forrest Gump? Savannah, almost forgot. What did you call me for? This is gonna be difficult. I should have just stuck with the Tony. I can actually do Tony. I can only say Tony in that accent. All right, I have a special request for you two. On the desk, there's my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Gilmore and Gunther. I almost like the two Gs better though. So as great as Tony was, Gilmore and Gunther kind of got it going on too. I take these with you. Excuse me, I've received a text message. Oh. Uh... My boys are about to go eat. Let me quickly, hold on. This is unprofessional. Uh, but I'm gonna say, Papa is recording. Give me like 30 mins. Oh my God, I put, instead of spaces, I put a freaking N in between all of them. Okay, there we go. Fantastic, uh, I've sent it. Sorry guys about that. Oh, you can't get into detailed data of Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here's some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Oh, Professor Oak, if only you knew the consequences of what you've just done, you have officially started the Fire Red Scrambled Egg Lock. That means at this point, all of the rules that I mentioned before are in place. We can no longer heal at Pokemon centers. We can use potions. I should have bought potions. We can use potions. 
That's it. <laughs> we can use mom one time. We can use potions. Other than that, we are trapped. And we cannot heal at Pokemon Centers anymore without sacrificing a Pokemon. Rule number two, obviously if a Pokemon dies, it is uh, considered dead and must be boxed forever. Those are the two big rules. Obviously the first encounter rule, but we'll switch those out for eggs. Uh, those are all in place now, so I hope you guys are ready. We're about to enter a realm of pain. When I want a Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. How do the Pokemon can escape? You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't get the job done, so I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Oh, Gilmore, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to land you on, Gilmore. <laughs> don't bother coming around to my place after this. I don't know, I still can't decide what kind of southern accent I'm gonna do for him. It's pretty, I don't really don't wanna look like this the whole time if I have to do it. So, uh, obviously I can't do a southern accent, and I've now trapped, Gunther's definitely a southern name. Hello, I'd like a town map. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Why, thank you for the town map. Okay, uh, I'm scared. <laughs> the journey has begun, uh, which also means the very first encounter we get here in this grass is our Route 1 encounter, and uh, we're gonna have to live by it, unfortunately, so yeah, there it is right there. Our Route 1 encounter is gonna be a Rattata, though it does not really matter. We're gonna go ahead and sing, put this thing to sleep. The Siren Hera is born. He is falling asleep, obviously. Uh, sorry, she, and we will go ahead and use these Pokeballs to try to catch it. We have five attempts. I think that's enough to get it done. You would hope, especially while it's asleep. That is a caught Rattata, uh, which means we have a second encounter coming. Dude, this is a corner push. Watch that. I'm really excited. Rattata, its fangs are long and sharp. They grow continuously, and so it gnaws on thing, hard things to whittle them down. Give a nickname to the capture Rattata. I was gonna nickname them Token originally. I feel like that's just adding about like 20 minutes of unnecessary time to every episode. So we are actually not going to do that. Instead, let's get our second encounter. Do I have my dice app up? My dice app is up. Let me go ahead and, oh, yeah, I accidentally rolled. Okay, let us go to the PC and uh, let's move some Pokemon. Now we are going over to box two, like I said. So box two, obviously if we hit anything in the, fourth or fifth row, we'll have some issues, but we're gonna hope that we don't. Our first roll is a six, the very end. So we're looking for essentially a one, a two, or a three, and we're going to get a three. Six and three, swap those eggs. Excuse me, Dice, could you please calm down? Nope, please stop. We're gonna swap these, and this is our second encounter of the egg lock. Deep breaths, everyone. Deep breaths, deep breaths. What are we going to get? It is not hatched yet. Of course, we will have to do a little bit of running around outside because that's just the way things work. It's not instant hatch. I thought I had, I had a cheat code on for a little bit that was instant hatch, but I don't know what I did with it or where it went, but this is definitely just, um, it, I think it's called quick hatch, although I would, I would disagree with the quickness of this one. This boy's taking a while. Is this boy broken? It's also completely possible. I can't actually check if any of these dudes are broken. He could also just be a really good Pokemon. Some Pokemon take longer to hatch than others. Um, that's a possibility as well. It's also possible. No, the cheat would definitely still be on. Um, give me a couple seconds to, to do, do some discerning. Maybe someone set the numbers incorrectly, the numbers Mason, and that's why this is uh, taking a while to hatch. Uh, but I will be back once this bad boy is hatching. All right, I've been running around for about five minutes and unfortunately it doesn't seem like it's making any progress. Maybe somebody sent me a legendary by mistake and that's why it's taking so long. I don't really know what the dealio, it has an item. It looks like it will take a long time to hatch. Can I take its item? I can't even take its item. Um, so unfortunately it looks like this egg is, is not meant to be. So this may just be a bad egg. Um, so I apologize if this is in fact your egg. Uh, I can always go in later and take a look at it and see what Pokemon it was and uh, I can try to figure out who sent it and uh, Maybe send you an apology of some sort, but anyway, we're gonna have to oh no <laughs> 
we're gonna have to try this again because that clearly did not work. Our first one is going to be a one. First column, one through four we're looking for. That's a six. One through four, it is a two. We're gonna take first column, second egg. This is actually going to be our second encounter. And let's see if it hatches like it's supposed to. Oh, please, why? Oh, it actually hatched, okay. This one is not broken, this one works. Our second encounter of the game is going to be... <gasps> oh, dude, it's two good hatches. We got some first gen, we got some second gen. The next one has to be third gen. Uh, what I like to nickname the newly hatched Skarmory. It is a female Skarmory. A female Skarmory. I am going to nickname you Panza because you are a tank, my friend. It's more of a male name, but you know what? It's gonna work just the same. Again, I apologize if you sent this in and you had a different name for it. This is just unfortunately the uh, the situation we find ourselves in. I'm gonna have to nickname them. And again, you can always comment down below and let me know. Hey, that was mine. I wanted to nickname Tony. Tony. <sighs> That's okay. Hardy nature. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Keen eye has drill peck pursuit and steel wing. I just remembered, by the way, I'm supposed to have, and I should have done this before. I apologize. The music is gonna go away, and I apologize for that. Please don't stop the music. Please don't stop. I need to check and make sure these Pokemon are legal. So I should have had Sarah be up this entire time, so that I could first find Lapras. Where is Lapras? Where in here is Lapras? Lapras is right here. And Lapras's egg moves include, uh, we have, mm, Horn Drill is a, an egg move and it starts with Water Gun and Sing. So these are all legal. Uh, our Lapras is legal and Skarmory, if we go in and look wherever you are, I do not know the Pokedex very well. Mm, Skarmory is right here. And if we look at Skarmory, uh, you guys can't see this obviously, though, so I apologize. Uh, Drill Peck and Pursuit are both, uh, what are these called? Egg moves and Steel Wing is a TM, correct? Steel Wing is a TM and I did say that TMs, uh, I think I looked it up and they can legally be passed down. So Skarmory should also be legal and that's a very good Pokemon to have. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to the next route over here. I believe it's 17, okay, 22. Shows how much I know. Let's head over to Route 22 right here and let's see if we can get our third encounter of the playthrough. Hopefully that's not a, um, hopefully it's not a common occurrence, guys, with the, um, hello. I understand that a wild sparrow has appeared. I'm clicking A. Hello. Um, this is a problem with this controller. Sometimes it literally just dies on me. So I have to plug it out and then replug it in, but it's okay, it works. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I I thought, like, that's why I wanted to make sure I had plenty of eggs. Like, I think I, oh, I forgot to buy Pokeballs. We should be able to catch this thing, though. Um, I looked it up, and I'm pretty sure there's only, like, 30-ish encounters in the whole game. Although this game does have the islands, so it might be a little bit more than that. I might need more eggs. I may need, like, a restock of eggs as we keep doing this thing. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I had enough eggs. Is this thing shiny? Give any name to the capture. I don't think it's shiny. I don't know why that the screen looked weird to me. It's just a normal Spearow. I don't know why I thought it was shiny for a second. Um, I wanted to make sure we had extra because I thought that the bad egg thing might happen every now and again, and it stinks when it does, obviously. Nobody wants that to happen. Um, another thing we need to be careful of, let me check here. Did our Pokemon get healed? No, we still have lost two Sings. So, as long as we don't put that Pokemon in the PC box, it should never be healed. We'll, we'll test it here. Um, so we're gonna move Pokemon, go back to box one. We are moving Spearow. We just gotta be very careful with our movements here. And we're gonna go back to the good old dice again. We're gonna roll the first time. And we get a two second column, and then we get a four. One, two, three, four, swap. <laughs> Swap these. We have a new egg. Let's place these. Let's exit the box. Let's make sure our Pokemon did not get healed. I want to just make sure very quickly that Hera did not get healed. Hera did not get healed. Okay, so we can still do it. See, here's the problem. I can see the item, like the item worked. The item is on the egg, but when it hatches, 
the item is gone, and that is unfortunate. Um, can I see the item? No, but it looks like it's almost ready to hash, so let's go ahead and get this thing hatched if we could, and uh, let's get ourselves our next member of the squad. Okay, so so far we have a Lapras and a Skarmory. Those are both legal. Yes, everything is legal, everything is good. Our third member of the team is going to be <gasps> Ooh, an Abra, and I have made, uh, what do you want to call it? I have made uh, impossible evolutions possible, so this thing will evolve into an Alakazam at some point. Would I like to give a nickname to the newly hatched Abra? I absolutely would. And I'm going to go ahead and call you... Mm, will that fit? I think it will. I think it will. Pika? No... Will it fit? I think it's too many letters. I'm trying to think of some nice words. What do you call like nice silverware? What do you call? I mean, obviously a spoon. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go, you know what? Try to get all fancy with it. The first two names were, you know, kind of fancy-ish. And now we're gonna go re re revert back to our good old ways. And this is gonna be Spork the Abra. Spork the Abra, let's go ahead and check out what you're gonna be rocking for us. Please don't just be teleport. It is modest, which is beautiful. It has synchronized. Is this legal? Can it possibly be legal? This is legit. I should just keep Serebii open. I know. I'm so dumb. Serebii, we're going to quickly go. I'm sorry that the music goes away. Maybe I'll try to find some sort of music to put in the background while I'm doing this. But uh, for some reason, the emulator just stops when I go away. Uh, egg moves. Fire punch, thunder punch, ice punch. The elemental punches are legal for Spork. No way. And this game, wasn't this before the physical special split? I think this may be before physical special split. So I think all of these count as special moves. Ooh, we got a powerful team to start this one off. Uh, although, like, things are a little bit dastardly. Uh, because, you know, we do have to... Oh, uh, catching tutorial. Oh, I really do not care about the catching tutorial. This man can teach me how to catch a Pokeball all he wants. Uh, however, he did just remind me we need Pokeballs and we need potions. Potions are so clutch. We do not have a ton of money. I'm going to buy seven Pokeballs and I'm going to buy five. No, 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 no. I'm going to buy three potions and I'm going to buy three antidotes and I'll buy one more potion. We have to remember, guys, that poison kills in this game. You don't survive the poisoning, so we need antidotes more than ever. I also noticed, I couldn't help but notice, we have a lovely item here, and they are randomized, so let's see what our first random item in the game is going to be, a zinc. Interesting. <gasps> it's money! It's money! As you guys know, money in a scrambled egg lock, in a martyr lock, money is king. And the fact that we just got a zinc that sells for 4900 is so good. It means I can buy all of the antidotes I could ever need. There's no way we need this many. It means I can buy all of the potions that I could ever need. And it also means I could buy a couple more Pokeballs as well. Whew, okay, that was a clutch zinc. Clutch zinc right there. Uh, before we end this one, let's go get our final encounter, or attempt I should say, to get our final encounter up here. Uh, what was this, Route 4? Route 2, yep, I can count. Um, let's try to get our final encounter up here on Route 2. I think we could also get an encounter in the forest, but I think I'll save that for the next episode. We have a lovely Pidgey right here. Do not take it out. Sing this boy fast asleep, and let's throw a Pokeball at it. These early encounters are not that bad. We are... I do want to take on the rival. I do enjoy fighting the rival, um, but he's going to have level... 10s, I think, 9 or 10, and they're randomized, so they could be literally anything, and that scares me. Uh, Pidgey is the forest Pokemon. Actually, it's the tiny bird Pokemon. Does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass, so uh, and so on, foraging for foods such as small bugs. Interesting. Given a nickname to the captured Pidgey, the nickname matters not, because we will be going back to the PC and getting our fourth and final encounter of the episode. So I hope this did make it up for you guys, because I know I skipped the encounters last episode. I hope doing a, a couple extra encounters this episode, not extra, but just a lot of encounters in general, hopefully that made up for it 
for you guys. Pidgey, please come with me. And uh, we're gonna have to do the good old roll again. Let's get this done. Our first roll is going to be a five. And now we are looking for a one, a two, or a three. We get a two. Five, two, hey, that's my height. Oh, <laughs> but it's actually not. Place this egg here and let's hatch this bad boy if possible. If it's going to hatch, if it's gonna hatch, let's get it done. And let's see who our fourth and uh, not final member of the team. Oh no. Oh, it's not a broken egg, thank God. Ooh, I, it makes me so sad when the eggs get broken because I'm like, somebody took the time to make this and maybe just checked one wrong box or something and it ends up not working. But this egg does work and it's going to be our last encounter of the episode. In replacement of a Pidgey, our fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be... <gasps> it's a rat! Two Psychic types, two Psychic types, but one of them has all of the elemental punches. Um, one of them has all of the elemental punches. I'm gonna go ahead and call this thing... Uh, what am I gonna call this thing? I'm gonna call you Theory. Theory, because, uh, but that's, I'm only calling it that because every time it murders something in battle, I'm gonna say, but that's just a theory. It's a, it's a joke. Anyway, Ralt's also modest nature with the ability trace and starts with Will-O-Wisp disable psychic and calm mind. We got legal here. We got legal. I know I need to keep Serby open. Don't tell me. One more time. Serebi.net, where, where legends come to life. Fantastic. Uh, we go into Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Ralts is right at the beginning. And if we look at Ralts, we see Egg moves. Will-O-Wisp. Disable is on there. Psychic and Calm Mind are TMs, I believe. Calm Mind is TM04. Psychic is TM29. We have ourselves a legal Ralts here. And not only do we have ourselves a legal Ralts here, we have ourselves a flame and squad look at this there's no fire types but we have a fire puncher uh this team looks legit uh let's actually go do a battle or two i just want to see some of the new squad in action so like let's just see a little bit not to mention we have a horn drilling minky minky not to mention we have a horn drilling um uh, freaking Lapras, good old Hera, so that's pretty exciting. Overall, I would say this is a, a, a really good start to, to our journey together. I think we're going to have a fantastic time. I'm wasting a lot of PP doing this, and I don't like that I am. Are we ready to take on our rival? I mean, we're a little under leveled, <laughs> but I think we're going to be fine. Let's take him on. Let's finish it off with a good battle. Oh, hey, Gilmore, uh, Southern Inc. saying, hey, Gilmore, you're off to the Pokemon League, forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? There's like so many different forms of Southern accent. That's my problem. I cannot possibly do that many different forms. He's going to start with a Wurmple. That makes me feel pretty good um, about our situation. Let's go ahead and give this thing a water gun. Not a ton of damage on that uh, on that water gun there, I gotta say. Uh, but that's okay, because we are gonna take down the Wurmple, gain a decent chunk of experience for it as well. Hera's gonna grow to level eight, our beautiful starter in front of us. And a Zubat as your second Pokemon, so that's not a bad start at all. Um, I was gonna say Theory could come Psychic this thing. Makes me a little nervous. Let's go into Panzer first. Uh, yeah, let's go into Panzer first and just hit this thing with a drill peck. See, that's only going to do one damage. That makes me feel a little bit better. It'd be cool if we could not flinch ever. That'd make me a little bit happier. And yeah, this is a, uh, this is a good situation. We got a solid team here. We got a solid team in front of us. Uh, good old Gunther stood no chance whatsoever. I'm so sorry, by the way, that he's Gunther and not Tony. I miss Tony already. Oh, you just lucked out. You know I did. Maybe I go... S a little southern stuffy. Maybe got a little, <laughs> little cold he's battling. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. He said dawdling. 
Dawdling. There's gotta be a secret item here, right? Dawdling is the most Southern phrase a human being can utter. Would you disagree? It is the most Southern phrase a human being can utter. So I'm a little bit nervous about how frail our some of our team is, I will say. We've got two bulky mons in, uh, in Lapras. Oh God, a little scared here. We've got two bulky mons in Lapras and, um, in Lapras. And of course, Skarmory is one of the bulkiest mons in the game. Uh, but we also have two kind of, not weak, but definitely less strong mons in Spork and Theory. Uh, now, Spork is obviously rapidly gaining levels here, uh, so that helps a ton. And uh, let's see if we can get Theory in a little bit of the action, too. I just want them to... Um... The other problem with Theory that I'm just now realizing is Theory only has 24 HP. I mean, um, does she have 24 HP? No, 18. I don't know where that came from. Only has 10 PP of, a, of an attacking move. Psychic only has 10 PP. So that's going to be kind of difficult to use, honestly, in this um, in this format of this Martyr Lock. Um, so unfortunately, Ralt might uh, just kind of have to be carried along for a bit until we can do some switch training and get it. I think it learns Confusion at like level 9, so um, it should get another move pretty soon. I don't really want to get rid of anything else for Confusion, but... Um, just for PP's sake alone, I think it might make sense. But anyway, this video went a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Uh, I just wanted to train people up a little bit and uh, show the squad in action. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, we got a pretty nice team set up right now. Um, but it's only a matter of time before we run into a trainer who maybe has not a Wormpool and a Zubat. We definitely lucked out with that. If he would have had a Legendary, eh, probably game over. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this second episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Scrambled Egg Lock. And I hope the longer episode makes up for the shorter episode before. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Play Crastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Play Crastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we would love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on Friday for episode number three.